But for cancer care, I think the thing we have to focus on is uh, what care is important and vital for our patients today? Um, and if we delay that care, will their health and outcomes be impacted because of those delays? Um, I do think that we have an approach uh, within Texas Oncology of being able to open our clinics back up, specifically uh, our surgeons who all of them have pretty much stopped surgeries at this point, a way to open uh, surgeries back up so that they can perform surgeries on patients for cancer to prevent poor outcomes from delayed care while keeping um, our patients and staff safe and maximizing the importance of PPE for our hospitals. Um, so that's a challenge and that's gonna be regionalized depending on the locations and the outbreak and the availability of protective gear and things like that, but there's an approach to that. As far as testing goes, it's challenging. Um, if you look at all the tests out there and there's some, been some very well-written editorials lately about this, uh, much of the testing that we have has not been validated. Um, so the sensitivity and specificity of that testing is not known. Um, and so it makes it challenging to do that testing um, on a real-time basis because uh, we don't know what a negative test means or what a positive test means because of false positives and false negatives. And how does that actually correlate into managing our patients and doing that patient care? So rapid testing is important, but we have to make sure that testing is valid. Um, and that we understand what the sensitivity and specificity of that test are before we can completely rely on that testing to change the way that we approach patient care.